hi. I wanted to do a Margot update. The last time YouTube got introduced to Margot, it was when Margot was a just a wee little baby. She was just a little lad, ruining my life. Being a little terrorist. Yes, you were a terrorist, Margs. The last time I really spoke about Margot, I was annoyed. I hated my life and she's demanding I pet her. Margot is a year and eight months almost and she is my bestie. I love her so much. I think at my last video where I introduced her to YouTube, I had not bonded with her yet and I was really overwhelmed and really annoyed with her. Bro, like she just, she's incapable of just sitting. This is actually from her. Get down. Down. No. Down. Oh my god. One day I just woke up and I was like, you are my best friend, Marks. You are my best friend. Everything changed. Like the more time we spent together, the more attached I got to her, the more attached she got to me. I know she's being a doofus right now and trying to play fetch with me, but if you have a dog, you understand. There are just these moments you have with them where you're just, you are just so bonded to them. So she sleeps in bed with me. And when we wake up, she doesn't cuddle with me, but when we wake up, she will say that I'm awake and she will come over and lay down next to me and cuddle up next to me and just be so sweet. That's Margot, AKA Mags, AKA Margarita, AKA Linky Queen, AKA my little BFF. She genuinely has just become such a light in my life. And I really like don't remember what my life was like before I got her. I have thought about getting my dog a dog. Uh, realistically, I don't think I have that in me ever again. I don't think I have the patience to train another puppy, maybe an adult dog, but I don't see myself ever getting a puppy again. I really spent all of the first year of her life training her and learning about dog training and doing things with my dog and still on a day-to-day -day basis, I still do a lot of things with my dog. Uh, I mean, we go on hikes. I take her to D-A-Y-C-A-R-E once a week. That place has been a game changer, wears her out. She gets to have fun. She basically drags me to the door when she knows that we're there. It's so great, money well spent. And then they go swimming. They have a giant above ground pool and all the dogs get in the pool and go swimming. And then they post pictures on their Facebook. So Margot was a relationship dog. I took the dog before we even got Margot. That was already established that if we ever broke up, she was my dog, which if I did not have his support and his help, I would have gone insane. She is a product of divorce. She comes from a broken home, just like me, but I still feel like I have not failed her because she still has a great life. She still goes on hikes. She goes to D-A-Y-C-A-R-E. She goes on wall, W-A-L-K-S's. <laughs> We take frequent trips to the dog park. She has dog friends. I imagine that this feeling is a lot like having kids where I don't regret her. She makes my life so much lighter. She is seriously the highlight of every single day for me. And I don't know, does that sound sad? I love her. I love seeing her happy. But my life has changed since I got a dog. <laughs> yeah, I go on trips and now I have to figure out what am I gonna do with my dog? So it's a lot of logistics to figure out. Obviously I can't stay gone from my house for long periods of time. One thing I learned since having a puppy is you want to wear them out. You want to physically and mentally exhaust them. So on days where it's raining or we can't do something physical or I'm strapped for time, I will take little pieces of hot dogs she knows that word. I will hide them around the house and uh, she'll go searching for them. She'll go sniffing for them. It's really cute. We, we made a little game out of it. I think like doing scent work with her helps wear her out a little bit. Another piece of advice I would give if you have a puppy or you're doing dog training, um, at some point you should switch to higher value treats. I learned with training Margot that at some point she doesn't really care anymore about treats. Um, 
like just normal dog treats. She needs something more palatable. So I started giving her hot dogs or lunch meat, um, just cut it up in little pieces. And she is much more motivated. If you happen to have a puppy and the future is bleak and you wanna pull your hair out, it gets better. Slowly but surely, it gets better. Margot has calmed down so much. I would say a couple months after she got spayed, I noticed a huge drop in her energy. I mean, don't get me wrong, she still has a ton of energy, but... And she's not very destructive either. For at least the first year, I created her every time I was gone. Because she just showed me time and time again, I cannot trust her. I don't think she's really torn up anything valuable. She would tear up toilet paper all the time. That was her thing, which is probably my fault because I gave it to her as a puppy. So she probably thinks that that's a toy. So that's probably on me. Also, she gets in my mail slot when I'm not home and she will get the mail. And she has torn up mail before. That's pretty much the most valuable thing is mail. And she actually got something from the IRS out of my mail slot and chewed it up. Thankfully, it was just a generic letter, but that would have been so bad. Margot loves chewing up sticks, chewing up branches, eating dirt. I watched her eat rocks. She just will eat anything outside. She has gotten a stick lodged in the back of her throat twice. Fucking idiot, dude. I had to reach back there and get it out and if I wasn't watching, who knows how long she would have been struggling. <sighs> a few months ago, we had a scare. We thought that she had Addison's disease. She was puking a lot. She was not eating and it would come and go. And really all the signs pointed that she had Addison's disease, which requires lifelong treatment. It came back negative. Thank God we would have never financially recovered from that. Now I have pet insurance on her. If anything ever comes up again, we have pet insurance, Margot. You are covered. We're not paying for these fucking tests anymore. <laughs> it costs a few hundred just to rule out Addison's disease. But turns out she's just an idiot that likes eating sticks outside. Bang.